Um, good afternoon, everybody. I'm A Weapons. This is Midlife Music. Shout outs to the entire LDBC. Go to ldbcsports.com, register, create a profile, interact with the brothers and the sisters of the LDBC. Also, go to shopfightfan.com and pick up any and all LDBC merch there. Um, as well, go to my second home, which is tickettvmedia.com. That's tickettvmedia.com. And you can pick up um, my merch. You know what I'm saying? I'm merched out today. Hold up, I got a surprise for y'all. <laughs> yes, sir. I got my own shit, son. I got my own shit, son. Y'all can't fuck with that, son. You know what I'm saying? You say I got a weapon. And then you turn it around to the hill. Ooh. <laughs> y'all ain't fucking with me, man. <laughs> Oh, man, I got my own shit, son. I got my own shit, finally. You know what I'm saying? We had, if we've had the eight weapons on the tongue, it would have been a wrap. I would have quit my job. <laughs> but go to TicketTVMedia.com. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm A Weapons out. Hold a second, one more time. You know what I'm saying? I'm A Weapons out. I may have to change my name tomorrow. <laughs> but, um... <clears throat> go to go to um ticket tv media.com get the a weapons merch get a weapon songs that's on gang and um it doesn't matter those are still available pick them up it's a buck 50 in the store also go to my cash app which is dollar sign a weapons 357 is it a weapons 357 yes it is yeah, it's it's dollar sign A weapons A W E A P O N S three the number three the number five and the number seven. So that's A weapons. That's dollar sign A weapons three five seven. And the reason I'm asking for that is to get um something going. I'm trying to do a collab with Pony, and I want my own sneaker made. I can handle the clothes and the merch that I can handle, but the sneakers I cannot handle because they're asking a whole lot to get them built. I mean a whole lot. So I'm going to need the help from the LDBC members and for people who, you know what I'm saying, who who like my channel, who are not members of the LDBC. So, you know what I'm saying? Just put $5 in, you know, and I'm pretty sure that you can, you can, you can slight $5. So if I get enough people, I could just go ahead and just get the shoes made and then send the proposal over to them, at, you know, so that, so it'll be something concrete. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Something concrete there so that I can do what I got to do. All right, this video, it's going to be kind of short, and I actually hate doing this video, but I, I, I got to do it. I got to just keep it 100. Um, Steve Perry, and as Steve Perry, the ex-lead singer of Journey, one of the top five vocalists, dead or alive, that's Steve Perry. It may be time for you to do one or the other. It may be time for you to just go ahead and do another album. Or you may have to just pack it in, Steve, and just call it a day. You may have to just pack it in because what happens is, is that when you get a certain age, and we're just going to keep it honest, you've been a prima donna. You know, everybody says, oh, he's a dick. No, you've been a prima donna. So when you get a certain age and you realize that, um, that you don't want to listen to what's out there you don't want to, oh you know i like the eels i'm not listening to no goddamn eels steve and no disrespect to them but i'm not listening to them i don't listen to tell you the truth it's very little music that i listen to right now that's in the mainstream that's contemporary very little but if you're gonna make up your mind that you are gonna stay in 1960 you know what I'm saying? Sam Cooke, um, James Brown, try me. If you're going to do that, then what you just need to do, bro, is just listen to that shit in your house, bro. Don't even put it out. Listen to it in your house. You you, you don't need money because Neil Sean and them getting royalty checks every five days for Don't Stop Believing, so money's not the issue. So what could be wrong? Why would you insist on just coming out there and just doing, well, I I, I feel good about this music. When No Erasing, to be honest with you, is like really like the best song on the album. 
And like I said, I'm not trying to beat you down, but it may be time for you just to either pack it in. And like I said, just listen to the songs in your house. It's nothing wrong with that. Or you're going to have to work on getting a new album. And I got two songs for you already. I got two. I got I got one that kind of, that's got that I'll be all right without you feel. And that one's called Why Don't You Care? Or Why Don't You Stay? It's one of them. I, I have to make up my mind. And then I got another one called Tonight is Special. Or oh, Tonight is Something Special. I'll put it that way. Because the bass line goes. Then they got a. You know what I'm saying? You, Steve, you're going to love it, man. You would love that shit. That shit right there, you would bug the fuck out. And then I got another idea that's called SPD. U for Steve Perry. The D, or is it P? SPD, SDP. Okay, D for Dennis D. Young. And P for Peter Cetera. And I got a song that's got that, you know, like that, um, the cool beat from the time. You know, it's got that feel to it, man. Steve, I'm telling you, you fuck with me. That's it, son. That's it. You're going to hit R&B and you're going to hit pop. And you're going to hit mainstream. You're going to hit them all. Fuck with your boy, Steve. I'm telling you, fuck with your boy. But seriously speaking... Like, you either going to have to pack it in or work on another album. Because this album, and like I said, it was a good album, Steve. Like, I could listen to it and go, okay, I appreciate the musicianship in this album. I appreciate that you're, doing, that you're singing again. But we have, to, we have to just be honest. These are not great songs, Steve. The writing wasn't great. The arrangement wasn't great. As far as like your vocal arrangements, they weren't great, Steve. They they were barely good. You know, and it's been it's been a little over a year and a half. It's been about a year and a half since you put out the album. I think you put out the album in September or October, some shit. I think it was October the the what was it? October the third or October the sixth, two thousand eighteen. Steve, it, it wasn't a great album, and it was barely. Barely a good album. That's give or take. Like, you know, it either barely was not a good album or it barely was. It, it, Bruh, you know, and I'm the last person to sit here and talk shit to you. I'm the last person to do that. You know, like you got people like David Spurrier who will give you a blowjob in front of his wife. <laughs> Shout out to the fake music observer. But basically, um, Steve, you know, it may be time for you to pack it in. It may be that time. It may be time for you to pack it in or do a new album and get other producers and, 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 and okay, you already got your proverbial nut off. You basically did what you wanted to do. You came out with an album that you wanted. Now it's time to come out with an album that the people want. Okay, that means getting some good producers in there, getting some good writers and doing some good goddamn music and putting out some good songs. You can do it, but you got to put your ego to the side for a second. You got to put it to the side and you got to have people come in and, you know, you ha you're going to have to say, well, I'm Steve Perry. No, shut the fuck up. You're a singer. That's all you are, a singer. So let us do what we do. Now, we know that you're more than that, Steve, but I'm just saying, you know, that's what that's the position that you should take. Be the singer. Be the instrument. Let them let the music guide you don't guide the music let the music guide you like when they say let the holy ghost come inside you don't come inside the holy ghost no homo but let let it consume you let it let it use you 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 be the vessel you're just carrying it so that's it you know that's all i'm gonna say about that i i just feel that steve perry just needs to do something different or pack it in it's no shame in that. Pack it in. Because you may not, you know, you may not want to do this anymore. You just want to just be in the spotlight. And if that's the case, then you need to not even be dealing with this. 
So again, um, shout out to the entire LBBC. TicketTVMedia.com, ShopFightFan.com. Oh, God. And LDBCSports.com. Hold a second. One more time, y'all. <laughs> Look at my shit, son. Look at my shit, son. I got my whole shit, son. Look at, look at my name, son. <laughs> my name is A Weapons. Peace and God bless. And fuck you, Real Music Observer, Dave Spurrier, cocksucking faggot. <laughs>